Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And in this video, I am responding to some of you guys' comments about some of the things that you guys wanted me to do for you guys in Red Dead Online. Now, probably the two most common things is the jewelry gl glitch or the duplication glitch with the jewelry at the Brithwaite Manor. Or the other one would be the, does the carcass fishing still work after the most recent update with Red Dead Online? Now, we're going to go ahead and test these. Now, I've already done the jewelry a few times and just to make sure that it, it does work. But I haven't tried any of the carcass fishing. And there's actually one spot specifically that people have been asking me about. And I have not done that yet. And that's going to be at Bard's Crossing. Now, on top of that, we're going to go ahead and test down by Blackwater because that still seems to be a hot spot. So those are the kind of the three things that we're going to do in today's video. So let's go ahead and start with the Birthright Weight Manor just because I'm currently here. And yeah, it was working for me just fine the other day. Um, but I tried to do it on the live stream and I think there was just a lot of people in the area So it wasn't really working out for us, but we are down here And we are gonna go ahead and get ourselves some loot first So I'm gonna run in I'm gonna get some liquor cuz you know who doesn't want some good liquor There's some around the corner here now if you guys want more of an in-depth Guide with this then you guys can definitely check out my other video i'm not really going to put a link to it but i'm going to pick up a few supplies because you know what we always need supplies and if we can get stuff for free then darn it we're going to go ahead and take it for free and who doesn't want some canned peas mmm delicious all right so let's go ahead and make our way upstairs now there are a couple things in this room which I don't know if I can take. Okay, I do have a little bit of room. And then we got to get some Kentucky bourbon, which is right here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and head upstairs because we want to get the jewelry that we came here for. So let's go ahead and make our way up this awesome staircase. I love this house. The attention to detail in this house is absolutely amazing. Now, we are going to be combining a few different things in this video like I was mentioning before. But this is going to be the first one here with the jewelry. So we grabbed it. We got some platinum necklace. So let's go ahead and make our way outside. Now, on the live stream, basically what I did is I only came to this grassy area. So I'm just going to run down a little bit towards Shadow Fox here onto the, I guess, the pavement area. And let's go ahead and make our way back into the house. Now, you guys are going to use a lot of stamina doing this. Um, so it's unfortunate. But uh, there, it's still working. Glitch. Duplication glitch, whatever you guys would like to call it, is still working. Ooh, we got a spring bracelet. You know, I'm just going to do this just a few times because, you know what? We need some extra cash. I was planning on making a lot of money during the live stream, and it really didn't work out. We had to deal with a single griefer pretty much the entire session, which was kind of a disappointment. But that's okay. We we can make money on some other live streams with you guys, so... Let me know what you guys would like to see. There is the thir third jewelry, so we can clearly see that this is still working very, very much. I'm just going to do it one more time. I would love to be able to fill this up just because it would be worth my time to, to fill it up completely. But that is A-OK. -okay. We got other things that we need to do in this episode. So let's go on into the house one more time. We already know that three is a charm, but four... Well, that just means it, that it surely works. And it's there, so it works just fine for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to Bard's Crossing, and we're going to find ourselves a carcass, and we're going to do a little bit of carcass fishing next. All right, everyone, I've made it down to Bard's Crossing, and what I'm looking for is a buck or a doe of some kind. I'm going to shoot this pronghorn right here. I think that was a pronghorn. It sure looked like one. I guess I didn't even look at what it was. I just happened to see it like right at the last minute. But we did make it down to Bard's Crossing. Now, if you guys don't know where that's at, that's basically that bridge right there. But if you really don't know where that's at on the map, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you here in just a moment. And we're going to be going to a very specific location. Uh, so this is Bard's Crossing. This is currently where we're at. My first clip was down at uh, Braithwaite Manor, which is right there. But we're going to be going to this spot 
you know, right about there is where we're going to be heading now with this thing. It is a little bit later in the evening. I couldn't find anything right away uh, to to do some carcass fishing with. It took a little bit of time. There's a ton of ducks actually right here. And I think that caused our spawn ratios or things to go off of whack a little bit there. I couldn't believe how many ducks there were right here. It was absolutely insane. But what we're going to do is we're going to do this live for you guys. I have not tried this specific method in a long time. So I have no idea if this is actually going to work. And unfortunately, we, we are doing this at a very wrong time of day because the sun is setting. It is almost 8 p.m. But what we're looking for is the rocks right here that we can go ahead and step on, which are these ones right here. And we're going to face that rock, and we're going to go ahead and throw this thing down. Hopefully, that should work just fine. And I feel like it's got to move a little bit. It almost seems like it's a little bit shallower than normal. But a lot of those, a lot of the fish are out there quite a bit. They don't seem that they want to come in right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just reposition this dough real quick. I'm actually going to move forward just a little bit. And drop it down again. And we're going to do it right about there. There we go. Let's get back on top of the rock right here. Again, you guys, I haven't really done this at all since the update. I actually haven't done any carcass fishing in quite some time. All right. So after a little bit of testing, you guys, I went and found a different animal. And I've currently found a coyote. And it was actually just up by rig station so i find that i found the coyote actually right about here and that is what i found to put down in this area the doe did unfortunately did not attract any fish whatsoever but you guys can see that we are actually getting a little bit of fishies coming in here but unfortunately it's just it's too deep for them to really do anything but it is attracting them it's just not as productive as it used to be and somehow we got a sparrow in here i'm not really sure how that happened um and there's a couple fish that are just chilling out right there so if i use my var my varmint rifle i'm gonna go ahead and shoot these guys just real quick and the other one just swam away and he died and i'm not really seeing too much more activity but this is all that i got and i've been waiting here for oh i don't know i would probably say maybe a couple minutes at the most so it really honestly does not seem to be as productive as it used to be especially if the fish aren't really dying now i might have the coyote in a bad spot but that kind of gives you an idea of what we'd be looking at and this fish just just doesn't want to die there we go we got a dead fish there. We got looks like we got another one coming in to in investigate the area, but I'm not really seeing too many other fish that are spawning out there. So it looks like they either have swam away or it just doesn't look like they're really attracted to the coyote. So again, I don't know. If you guys think this is really enough for to be lucrative for you guys i mean it is working it did not work for the dough or with the dough for me so i'm guessing the, the a turkey or a fox or something like that would probably work out so yes it, it is slightly working it's just not working as good as it used to but what i would like to do now is kind of move on to the last opportunity it's kind of a disappointment that i thought this one was actually going to do way better than it wouldn't than what it's doing all right, so I did make it to the Blackwater area, which was one of the first place places ever that uh, we were able to do carcass fishing. So I'm going to go ahead and put my deer that I just found in the area right about there or so. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of wait and see. Now, the one thing that I do want, uh, I want everybody to be aware of is that when we were at the last location, we did do that in the evening to overnight time. And now we are currently at, um, we're early in the morning. And you can see that this spot is actually still working pretty decently. We got a couple fish already starting to come in. And I'm hoping for some more. Looks like we got some big boys coming in. But I'm not seeing any other types of fish besides, was it, I think that's a smallmouth bass it looks like. 
And we got a couple more sw swimming in, but they are all the same types of fish. Now, if they are all smallmouth bass, they they will give us $2 a pop. But I am not seeing any like pickerels or bluegills or rock bass. At least not what it used to be in this area. I, I'm thinking that they might have patched this a little bit. Because I've been getting a lot of comments that this area has been all done. Another bass. He's dying. Oh, there's finally a pickerel coming in. He just died. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this fish though because I want him to die. But I'm not really... There is not much of a variety right here. I don't know if this is just like my luck or if it's because it's raining out or kind of what's going on. But we do have another fish that's coming in right there. We got one right there. So let's see what this is. Oh, it looks like a bluegill or a rock bass is coming in. And it just died. Okay, now we're starting to get a little bit more of a variety. The pickerels are going to die. We got another pickerel coming in. Okay, so this one actually does seem to be doing a lot better than Bard's Crossing. I would have to say, I might have to give Bard's Crossing a go ahead during the day. Just to see if it is more lucrative to do it. I mean, during the day, it's always better than doing it overnight anyway. So it's possible that it still might be working. But one thing I did notice is I never got a single fish attracted to, to the pronghorn. Versus the coyote. As soon as I put the coyote in the water, there was a whole bunch of fish that were attracted to it. But again, it was overnight, so I really can't tell you guys for sure. If, we give, if you guys have other uh, issues with it, or if you guys had like success with it, then please leave a comment down below because we are all about helping the community here. And that's, that's all I'm doing for you guys. You guys have came to me with some questions, and this is what we're doing. We're doing this, honestly, for you guys so that we can, you know make sure that things are working but we'll definitely take the smallmouth bass they're worth two dollars a piece and that fish is swimming away from us unfortunately that's too bad so let's go ahead and grab all these fishies and make some extra money and then we're also going to get some resourcefulness from doing this and then all we have to do is take him to any butcher in the butcher in the area i mean there's one that's pretty close obviously in blackwater and then we also could go up to strawberry but that's pretty much all the time that i have for today's video just kind of debunking a few things i really don't see a whole lot of people doing any carcass fishing anymore anyway there's much better ways to make money in red dead but it's a great way to get resourceful um, without having to do a ton of work just grab a deer throw it in the water and let the fish come to you and you're gonna make a little extra money by doing it so it's it, it's kind of a win-win i mean nobody was gonna get rich from doing this anyway but again this is all the time that i have for today's video if you guys did enjoy it or if you found it helpful in any way then don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming <laughs>